here in front of me I have a box from Hot Topic and inside of this box it should just be um, two dorbs that I ordered now I want you to think about the size of this box and just for reference here I have Okay, two dwarves figures. Okay, these Walmart exclusive Batman and Batgirl figures here. And let's just take a look at this real quick. Okay, so do we see an issue here? <laughs> like, I don't know why in the world they sent a box that big. Do they really not have multiple sizes? Or, like, I, that's just weird to me. I mean, I would definitely assume that the dwarves in here should be well protected. And it doesn't feel like anything is moving around so I guess that's good but still this seems kinda wasteful but you know anyway I'm gonna go ahead and um get into this box and you you all probably if you're really up on Funko News <laughs> then you know uh you might have a good idea of what two door figures are inside of here so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get them out of the box we'll take a look at them here real quick got the box open up now sitting here on my lap okay I'm gonna go ahead and get inside of it and I see that they used um they don't use bubble wrap, they use this, well I mean they do use some bubble wrap I guess, but they also use this, you know, heavy brown paper as well to help keep things in place, which is fine. Now, the two uh, Dorbs figures that I ordered, I really did not order these, uh, I would say for myself so much, I just wanted to make sure that a friend of mine got a set, but we were both online at the same time just waiting 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 because we knew that these were going to go quickly and we actually did order at the same time her order did come through so i uh, you know right now i'm really not sure exactly what i'm going to do with these but they're here now so the first one is the flocked stitch dorbs okay limited to three thousand pieces um this one actually did not sell as quickly as i thought it would i guess it's because of the other one but um this one still sold out like after a day, I think. The um looking at it now and I'm not actually going to take it out, but the the coloring of it is a little bit darker than I thought it would be, but I don't know that might be because it is in the package still. Maybe it does look lighter once it's out. But I, I thought this one was pretty cute and um it did surprise me that it took a day, which I know to some people doesn't sound like a long time, but if you know Funko, that's actually not super fast. There's a better look at the figure there. But um yeah, so it took uh, like a day, like literally like 24 hours to sell out, which like I said, surprised me, you know, because I thought this was pretty cool. And I know that Stitch is, you know, relatively um, popular character. And they have some of the old orb, older dorbs here on the side, which um, I like dorbs overall, but I don't collect like a ton of them, though. So, yeah, this one, like I said, is cool, but I, even though I have watched Lilo and Stitch and I actually saw it for the first time just a couple of weeks ago, and I thought it was a, a decent movie. I'm, I'm not going to say I'm crazy about it, but uh, I did like the character of Stitch. So I, I just don't know. though. I, I really don't see myself keeping that. So I'll, I'll work out something with it. And then the other one here, which, um, wow, they didn't tape up the box very well. Let me fix this real quick. I'm glad that it can be fixed. Okay, so I think you all know what the other one here is. This is the Cheshire Cat. And no, it's not the Chase. Um, did not get the chase, but uh, yeah, so this one was limited to 3,500 pieces. So the um, stitch was actually smaller number of uh, 500 less, but it's, like I said, it still took longer to sell out. But that's because so many people were trying for the chase figures. Um, I didn't get it, you know, I said in my last video, I don't tend to have like the greatest luck when it comes to um, ch like ordering and getting chase figures. In fact, I don't think I ever have had that happen. But, you know, it's still kind of fun to try for it. But And here's a better look at um, Cheshire Cat, which I, I really do like this character. I think Alice in Wonderland is um, one of the best animated movies ever made. I don't think I'm exaggerating to say that. I really did like it as a kid, and I still appreciate it, um, especially the Mad Hatter scene. You know, and um, Mad Hatter is just really a mad character. He's, he really is crazy, but I think that scene is just brilliant. And uh, when it comes down to it, Alice in Wonderland is just a well-made film. You know, it's not really so much about it being animated. It's just a well-made film. So, yeah, I got a set of these now. And um, like I said, my friend ended up getting them. I, I really was trying to uh, help her out just in case she did not land these. But I don't know. More, more than likely, I'll probably end up using these uh, for trade. I don't see myself selling them. Um, don't really know if I'd be comfortable with that. Not that I'd never sell 
um, figures. I do from time to time, but I tend to do that um, in a certain Facebook group where it's ba basically they auction um, all figures, um, and it's called Funko Auctions. I just feel a little more comfortable doing it that way because that way the seller is kind of setting the price. It's not so much on me, you know. Um, it, it just makes me feel more comfortable, you know. Um, I definitely don't want to feel like uh, you know a flipper or whatever as much as um flippers can be annoying so yeah that that's why i tend to sell that way it just makes me more comfortable but like i said you know here are the figures i think um funko did a pretty good job with these i think they're definitely cute you know which is the of course the point of dwarves you know i'm pretty sure dwarves as an adorable so yeah um I, I think they really did do a good job with these um if anybody else got these let me know did you look up and get the chase figure i haven't seen anybody with it yet but i'm pretty sure videos are going to be rolling out as these figures are delivered so you know fingers crossed i'm really hoping that some friends of mine will actually look up and get the chase and i know that some of them really do really do tend to have some really good luck with these so you know we'll see what happens there but yeah just a quick video here thank you all for watching and i'll talk to you all again real soon